What up, though? I'm Fat. I'm Trey. Welcome back to another edition of Fat Century. Century. Today, what we're going to be talking about is cabin essentials. Cabin essentials. Stick around towards the end, and we do have a bonus tip. Yes, we do. First, we're going to talk about is packing cubes. Why do we need packing cubes in to our make, cabin? Because it's limited space depending on the size cabin that you get starting from the interior up until the suites the lower down you go the limited space you have so what i've learned is if you have a packing cube it helps you you don't have to unpack you just open it slot unzip it stick it right on the shelf and use it from there that way it'll condemn down space and then when it's real finished Zip it back up, put it back into your suitcase. So it's easier to have packing cubes. Hmm. Next we're gonna talk about is Clorox wipes. And the reason why we're talking about Clorox wipes is because you need to wipe down your surface. Even though they clean up real good, do a pretty good job, but you know how we are sometimes. We're always thinking it just ain't clean enough because we ain't did it. So get you some Clorox wipe. Make sure you wipe down everything, the doorknobs, the handles, the sink, the toilet, whatever you need to wipe down. Make sure you get some Clorox wipes. Next, we're gonna talk about night lights. Night light. Some of the cruisers have night lights in there and some of them don't. You won't know until you get there. Go ahead and pack it so you'll be on the side where you have them, okay? Mm -hmm. So pack them because they're good to have, especially when you're trying to roam at night to the bathroom and you're smashing your toe on the wall, the cabinets, everything. So if you have your nightlight, you can just put it up and you won't have that problem. Because one time before, I did have that problem. I got up one night to use the bathroom and didn't realize how high, how high the stump was to get into the bathroom. That's what a lot of people don't pay a lot of attention to. You have to step up into it. You know what I mean? Step up into it. And if you don't step up into it, guess what happened? Boom! You hit your toe. But some of the new ships has a night light on the bottom. As you move, it's like a motion light. As soon as you move to it, it'll come on. And that'll make you open your eyes and say, okay, yeah, I gotta step up. But make sure you have your own night light. That way, if you get on a ship that don't have that light, then you're already ready. And the motion ones are the best ones because they cut off and they save on batteries. Mm -hmm. Next we're gonna talk about is hooks. Magnetic hooks. And the reason why we're talking about the magnetic hook is because a lot of the older ships is what we all start off on because we like those two and three day cruises. And that's mostly on the older ships. So you gotta have those hooks because a lot of them do not have hooks in the room. They don't have a whole lot of clothes hangers or a whole lot of folding your clothes space. So if you got those hooks, you can always hang your jacket up because you're gonna need that jacket. Or you can hang up whatever you wanna hang up. That's what that hook is there for. Your lanyards or whatever you need to access right away. So don't forget your magnetic hooks. Next we're gonna talk about is a power bar. You know you need that power bar. Some of the newer ships have more outlets and the older ones don't. So. I do, you know, suggest that you bring a power bar and you can use it outside the ship where you can have it with, it's a battery pack, power bar, sometimes they come together. And it's also some, most of them has flashlights on them. Yeah, so. I'm not saying you're gonna be off the ship late at night, but some places you go, they do have overnights at some ports. So don't forget your power bar. Next. Next. Next, we're going to talk about is charging cables. Charging cables. You got the power bar, now you need the charging cables. So if you don't have that, you should not even have the power bar. Well, some of the power bars now have it where you can just lay your phone right on top and it will charge. Yeah, but what if you got two things that you need to charge at one time? Then you need your power cord. Then you need your cord. So don't forget your power cord because you have multiple devices, like Fess said, to charge. So if you don't have your power cord, you have to charge one by one. One at a time. Yeah. And, and if you're in a rush to get back out that room like I am normally are, I don't want to sit in there all day. Trying That's to charge. That's if you got a room that don't have a window. And your steward, if you leave it charged, they will unplug, unplug it. it. They've done this like that to us several times. Mm -hmm. so, so again, don't forget it. 
Next up, we're gonna talk about something <laughs> that I know is important. It might not be important to you, but it's important to me. You need that poop spray. That poop spray. What do you need poop spray for? Cause you gotta poop. You gotta poop. So you need to have that poop spray. You don't wanna make your roommate upset, do you? No. So you gotta have that poop spray. So you can spray that bathroom. I definitely don't wanna smell that. And a poop and spray. You, and you probably don't wanna smell it either, so. Don't forget your poop spray. That it, is very important. Yes, it is. And also, if you get the kind of the fragrance you like, they come in multiple fragrance. That way, if you got jasmine, cherry, apple, lemon, whatever flavor you want to smell, they have that there for you. So make sure you get that poop spray. Don't forget your air freshener. Now, you need an air freshener. You can get... The littlest thing is the tree air freshness that you put in your car. Mm -hmm. Take them out the pack and just hang them mm -hmm. on your hook. That way you keep your room, whole room smelling good. Yeah. Or the, also you can get the ones that you, you can get from the dollar store where you take the plastic off and you can line it up. Or untwist them. Or untwist it, but they comes up yeah. to different levels of how much you want to come out at a time. Yes. Yeah. So you know? they're good to have. Um, we do take them when we go. And we, it keeps it fresh, so mm. don't forget yours. Because wearing those plastic shoes and water shoes and clocks, they do make your feet sweat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mine sweat. Next we're gonna talk about is the laundry bag. A laundry bag for them dirty clothes. That's mainly with that air I do before. take mine all the time because I'd like to separate my dirty clothes from my clean clothes. Mm -hmm. And if you decide that you want to wash your clothes, you, already got them you got them separated. So you just take them over to the laundry area and washed. Now, platinum members don't have to worry about that. You just put them into the carnival bag, let your store know, and, and pick he'll it pick up. it right up, take care of it, and then they'll bring it right back. But everybody don't have that luxury. So you have to go right to the laundry area with your dirty clothes, your laundry bag, and wash your clothes. And if you, if you don't already come with your own detergent, fabric softener, they have all that in there available for you for a price. And it's usually in that room but if it's not in that room, you can go to the guest services, service desk, yes. and they will provide it for you. But you, you also, have to pay for it. And you can also go there to iron your clothes too. In and the I, laundry area. And I think the best time to iron is when you first get on. If you ain't got nothing to do, go ahead and iron, get it out of the way. Right before the cellar. Because they do get crowded, and I don't believe that there's many uh, laundry services on no. each ship. I know, from my understanding, I only ever seen two on the ship. It could be more. I just don't know, but just make sure you you get what you need because them clothes do go need that air freshener to mix with it. Yes. Next, we're going to talk about is your tour tree bag. That's a biggie. Whether you want the tall size or the small size, mm -hmm. just make sure you have all the tour trees that you need. Deodorant, you got your um, toothpaste. Uh, all of your cosmetics that you yes. that you normally would take with you, you can put it in those bags, and they won't have to be laying all over the sink. And you're like, oh, somebody, somebody move my deal, somebody touch my toothbrush. Put it all back into your bag, zip it up. You can either leave it in the bathroom, or you can take it back and put it in your suitcase or in, in one your of your closet. Lockers. Yeah. But that way, you know that nobody has tampered with your thing. Because I don't like, even though they clean up every day or try to wipe around, I don't like for them to touch my toothbrush. So I usually get a cap for it, and then I just stick it right back in my bag because I don't want nobody to touch it. I don't want nobody to do nothing around it. You know, I'm very particular when it comes to certain things. So, again, don't forget your torture bag. And if you do forget any items... Just go to guest services. It might be a charge and it might not. They mm -hmm. might have some of the items. If they don't have it, you can always go into the fun shop. And the fun shop. Now, you're going to pay for the fun shop. So, again, make sure you have your toiletry bag together. Mm -hmm. Because you don't want to go into the fun shop and buy these items. It's going to cost you way more than if you would have bought them. You can always go right to the Dollar Tree and get these items, $1.25. Mm -hmm. And that's why we, we're doing this video. 
So you already know. Try to have all these things before you get onto the cruise because on the cruise, what you would pay for at a dollar store or regular Target, you're gonna pay almost double that. Yeah. Once you get on the cruise because they have to make their money, and you have to. And spend. it's and you pay for conveniency. Bingo. You pay for conveniency. Anytime it's convenient, you're gonna pay for it. So, again, if you like this video. Give Please us a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Let us know. Subscribe. Subscribe. The bonus, bonus tip, tip of today, today is download, always, download the Carnival Hub app. Always download the Carnival, Carnival Hub, Hub app. And why you should download the Carnival Hub app? Because that is your source of information if they do not pass out the uh, itinerary sheets. Yes. Yeah, so, so that's. You want to make sure you have that download. So go and download that today. Right after this video. Right after this video. Thank y'all. Check out the Amazon um, store store the down world. below. The things that you the need that we might have been talking about here in this will be in the Amazon. If, if you don't see it there, it's there. Just keep looking. Thank, Thank y'all for coming. Peace. Love, love and, and cruising. cruising.